about get y'all uh, fired up and ready to go. It is 10.02, so we're going to go ahead and get the call kicked off. And um, we're going to start with the leaderboards. Looks like we had a great week this week. Um, a total of 44 families protected for $42,366. So everybody give, your, give yourself a pat on the back if you went out and helped some families this week. Um, we're going to start with the top 10. Top 10, number 10 is Mr. Bill Collum. He wrote one application for $583. He is direct to myself. Number nine, James Steckel, one application for $624, direct to Mr. Brett Applin. And I did want to mention, we did have three new riders this week. So bear with me just one second. The three new riders this week was Mr. David Tohill. James Steckel and Carmen Carrazzo. And I apologize, I don't know who they are direct to, but I know you, you guys do. So great job. If you can write one, you can write two. If you can write two, you got a business. Okay, so keep it going. Um, number eight this week, Mr. Mrs. Donna Bates, two applications for 680 nine dollars direct to spencer cushion number seven michael benson one application direct to uh, excuse me one application for 837 dollars direct to john paul vetter number six david tohill we just mentioned him so one application for one thousand five hundred and ninety dollars direct to brett applin Number five, Spencer Cushion himself, five applications, $5,561 direct to Mr. Chris Menifee. We had um, number four, Mrs. Stella Dinwiddle, nine applications. I'll repeat that again, nine applications, 6000 $786 direct to Chris Menifee. And she don't know it yet, but I'm about, she's going to be talking here in just a second. She's going to be helping me out. Um, number three, Mr. Brett Applin himself, seven applications, $7,315 direct to John Paul Vetter. Number two, myself, I went out and wrote seven applications for $8,177, and I'm direct to Chris. And uh, number one, no stranger to the top of the leaderboard, Mr. John Paul Vetter, eight applications, $9,699 direct to Chris Menifee. And I uh, just want to give a, bit, a big special shout out. John Paul yesterday killed the corporate overview. He killed the, you know, a, a, like, like we would expect. But I just wanted to mention that because I know a lot of you guys, I, I know that a couple of you were here, were there, and I do apologize. I didn't get to um, have an opportunity to, um, to meet you guys. It was kind of in and out. I had a three-hour drive to get there and back. But uh, John Paul killed it. Love you, brother. So, um Thanks, Jeremiah. I appreciate you making it. I'm glad you made it back home safe, brother. Absolutely. Uh, 44 applications, $42,366. Um, we had the number one eight the owner this week in our base shop or Chris's base shop of John Paul Vetter for 20 apps, 20,569. Chris was number two, 16 apps for 13,000 and Iowa came in third. 8,870.59 for eight apps. Um, so yeah, excellent week. Uh, key leader Brett Applin had 11 applications in his base shop for $10,033. So, um, you know, look at that. I mean, that, that's definitely on pace for agency owners. So keep it up, Brett, keep pushing. Um, 
all you guys listen if if you went out and, and protected one family that is and an, that's a that's that's a job well done as long as you're meeting your goals that's all that matters here so um awesome job on the for the week as you guys uh, may or may not know today is the last day it, it, it is still january right what, what day is this yeah 31st Today is the last day for January turn-in, okay? So be sure to know where you're at for your next promotion and continue to be pushing. There's still time if you need to get some applications. There is, there is plenty of opportunity to set same-day appointments if you don't already have some. Um, but today is the last turn-in for January on a five week. So if you don't know where you're at on towards your promotions, then be sure to reach up to your your upline and, and they can uh, definitely uh, get you that information. So um, wanted to uh, bring up my screen share here, just go over a few announcements. Um, you, again, bear with me here. I'm trying to find, I got too many screens open apparently, but um, yeah, here we go. All right. So what I wanted to start out with is talking about the events. Um, you know, we were at John Paul, you know, hosted and, and was a big participant part of the Atlanta corporate overview yesterday. And guys, these events are, are imperative for your success, whether you believe it yet or not. All right. If you don't believe it yet, then borrow someone else's belief, because I assure you they are, regardless of how many you've been to or whatever, I always get something out of it. And even if I don't take away any nuggets, I get just that energy. You know, we, we, we need that energy, that constant influx of energy, and so, um, and just seeing the excitement of, of, of folks coming in and, and, and things of that nature. So be sure that you are paying attention to the website, um, you know, SFG Life, you know, news and events event calendar, or as you can see, you can type in calendars.sfg life, made it very simple there. Um, and paying attention to any corporate overview, boot camps, phone teams, Anything that's, you know, within a reasonable drive distance, three to four or five hours, even like I said, I, I drove, uh, I had a six hour round trip yesterday, but I'm so grateful I did, you know, but I did have some, some folks that are getting, getting started looking at us, um, you know, there as well, and, and, and just took away great, great feedback. So get on the Jim, calendar. Jeremiah, just one thing. I'm sorry. I just want to chime in on that because I want to give a special recognition just as to the point you're making about the willingness to commit and, and to be able to, you know, uh, 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 participate and engage in these things. And James McKeon, who's, who's new, who's only been at this a couple of weeks, uh, he flew in from Houston yesterday, stayed overnight, did a turnaround, and was back at the airport again at 430 this morning to go back to Houston just to come to this meeting. And not, not only that, um, it, it, he, he has a, a recruit that he brought that's, that's a, a, a family friend of his who just turned 20 years old last month. He told this young man about the Atlanta meeting a couple of days ago. His name is Montgomery. He told him about the meeting a few days ago. Within 15 minutes, he had registered for the conference and went online and booked a plane ticket to come to Atlanta with James and was here. Sandra and I were, were, uh, were, were uh, pleased to have dinner with the, the two of them after the event last night. And you want to talk about commitment and no excuses, man. Hats off, uh, Montgomery, to you and James for, for making that trip. And I appreciate both of you guys so much. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I you, it's, it's, Part of the corner, four cornerstones of success, you have to plug into everything. You have to associate with the right people. And, and that's where it's at. So again, um, there is, there also, you, you have the ability, and I don't remember the thing, the, the instructions, but you can, you can link 
this calendar to your Google Calendar, for example, and, and to make it even easier to know what's going on. But get in there, you can just put in location, um, but scroll through there and find out what's going on. But uh, I know we got folks from all over, so I'll just name off a couple coming up. Obviously, you've got corporate overview. Um, looks like that is today uh, in Las Vegas. You've got a boot camp in Asheboro, North Carolina today. Uh, Nicholas, Nick, Nicholasville, Kentucky. Um, Austin, Texas. Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, pretty confident this is our main man, Chris. Winter Blitz in Springfield. Raleigh. Chicago, Knoxville. There is absolutely no reason why everybody on this line cannot be at a corporate overview phone team boot camp within the next two weeks because they, they, they're, they're happening everywhere. Um, so be sure to get yourself to a corporate overview event. And, and even better, bring somebody with you. Hey, come check this out with me. You know, tell me what you think. Just get somebody, you know, a guest because you just never know who you're going to be able to introduce this to. Um, and then, you know, even even more uh, on that same note, you know, guys, just we we we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the um, the cruise coming up. You know, it, you know, Chris mentioned it last week. Um, you know, we have the tenth anniversary conference coming up on the cruise ship uh, April 19th through the 23rd. And the, the owners have really invested their time and money into helping you guys make it and, and really take any excuses off the table as far as money goes, because, um, you know, for new folks coming in, I mean, we can get the tickets down as low as you know, $375 a piece, you know, it's a double occupancy, 750, you know, payments. You know, if you're an existing agent still been on the fence, you know, I think it's about $600. Um, again, with payments, I mean, 10 payments, you can set it up. So there's really no reason that we shouldn't be on this cruise boat, you know, celebrating, you know, not only our 10th anniversary, but really learning from the best folks in the the company and, and for that matter the industry because you know i know i believe we've got the best leaders and, and trainers in the entire industry um so you know if, if you've been on the fence you know I, i'm going to tell you it's time to say yes and figure out everything else later hit the done button um because if you're serious about making symmetry work for you and your family and you don't be on the cruise ship, then I'll be honest with you, you're not that serious. So get there, hit the done button, reach up to your upline, your agency owner. Um, and, and I'm sure they can figure out a way to help uh, get you, get you down, get you on the cruise boat as, as, as inexpensive as is possible. Uh, Jeremiah. Yeah. A uh, quick announcement here, uh, just to interject real quick. I do have a company put out, uh, the, the, the owners of the company, again, they're always looking to reinvest heavily uh, back into the agents. And, uh, you know, it's, it's probably millions of dollars they've given back to us in, in some form or fashion. So uh, they've done that again. Uh, they, they have subsidized a block of cabins and put it available. Uh, to us agency owners to buy an owner's pack of those cabins. I picked up five of those cabins. And so there's going to be a couple of things uh, to qualify for those cabins. Those are greatly reduced price. So there's two criteria I'm looking at. Number one, you know, obviously financial need. You know, if you're just in a situation where financially it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a huge burden uh, to come up with even the, the basic level cabin, reach out to me. Second, we will be giving priority to people who are new on the team. Uh, and, the, and the philosophy behind that is, is you know, if, if, if you've been around for a few months, uh, even even with financial stress or difficulty, uh, you know, there's a lot of payment plans. And, and you know, if you hit the done button a year ago uh, or six months ago, you you know, you, you could be pretty much close to being paid off now. So we, we will give priority 
uh, to those who are newer team members. Um, however, if you're in a, you know, in a, in a uh, situation financially where you really, really want to go and you just, you know, um, just don't have the means or the ability to even, you know, do the down payment for uh, the payment plans for one of the, you know, one of the, the existing uh, uh, opportunities that the, the company is putting out. Uh, I do have limited availability. Like I said, I only picked up five of these, but um, uh, but we, we can talk about uh, uh, qualification for those. So just want to throw that out there. Make sure that everybody has a chance to get on the boat that, that wants to get on the boat. And everybody should be on the boat if you're serious about this business. Yeah, um, you know, to be honest with you, let, let's let's just take the the new agent. Um, discount off the table and just talk about the standard 25% off, which would be $600 basically per person. Let's, let's, let's just assume a round trip flight. I, you know, I, I know everybody's coming from different parts of the country, but gosh, I've seen Atlanta. I mean, literally from Atlanta to Miami round trips, like 150 bucks. So uh, I know that's a short distance, so I know it's going to be different for everybody, but let's just, just hypothetically, take, say a four hundred dollar round trip flight. Um, that's a thousand dollars, guys. That's two policies if you're on a brand new contract. So, book yourself, book yourself a couple extra appointments. You know, it, it just and, and and okay. So I'm going to run a couple extra appointments this week, next week, whatever it is. Or literally from now until April, just stretch yourself. You know, if your goal is 10, do 12. If your goal is 15, do 20. Whatever, you know, and it pays for itself. You know what I mean? You're just, you're designating that specific activity and income to invest in your business so you can learn from the best and, and get better so that coming out of that cruise boat, you're going to, you're going to, you know, apparently you don't, not supposed to call it a boat, but coming out of the cruise and the conference, you're going to be that much further ahead, you know? So it's just, a, it's just an investment in yourself. So don't look at your bank account today and think, do I, can I afford this? You got to look at, you got, at the end of the day, you can't afford not to go. I mean, that's just the reality. So paint yourself in a corner, do extra work to get yourself there. But again, the fact that they're willing to put you on payment plans up for 10 months, you know, I, I paid mine on a payment plan for a year or whatever it was. I don't, you know, remember the specifics. So it's, 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 it's really a no brainer. I just want, you know, some folks probably haven't thought about it that way. It's two extra policies, plain and simple. It's two extra policies maybe one depending on the size of it or what your contract level is but if on a brand new contract level it's literally two additional applications you know on the standard you know average average um you know apv so um definitely want to make sure we get all you guys on this call let me get this shared here um there is 25 participants i'm sure a good chunk of you are already registered but there's absolutely no reason we shouldn't see you know you got every one of you on that cruise with us on that conference um so good announcements done awesome stella can you unmute yourself i want you to be help me out here if you don't mind the topic of our call today is how to um, how to con maintain your posture and book yourself solid. I, I get I've posted my days, you know what what my appointment said and how many I met with. You know I, I I I try to do that as often as I can because I, I want folks to understand that you know. Myself, John Paul, Spencer, all of the top that, that you know, Stella, running these, you know, pro 
doing the 5,000 plus a week is simply because we book ourselves up and, and, and have the posture. But I get a lot of times questions. How do you, how do you get eight appointments in a day or, or whatever? Um, how do you get, I've had, I've had upwards of 10 appointments scheduled in one day. Okay. That's what you want. You, you, you don't want to be the worst thing. And I've been there. Trust me. Do I book eight appointments every time? No, nope, I try, but there's been times I did it. It's the worst. It's literally the worst. One of the worst feelings of, of getting no showed or canceled on or rescheduled on and it, it's three hours until your next appointment. You know what I mean? Now, does that mean it's all a lost cause? Absolutely not. You know, you, there's, as long as you put in activity, whether that be being prepared, having your leads with you, making dials, setting more appointments, going out and door knocking. John Paul was mentioning how he, he, he had that happen last week and he just had his, you know, zip recruiter. He just started recruiting. Um, you, you be prepared, but even better is, is book yourself up to where that shouldn't even be an issue. You get a cancel or no show. That's it. It should feel really good. A lot of times I'm thankful that someone calls me and reschedules or cancels because it gives me a chance to get called up because I'm usually running behind and that's the best place to be at. I, I, so many, and I was the same way, you know, early on, so many new agents are concerned about what, if I'm running behind, I mean, you know, they're worried, they're always worried about the next one. And that's common. I, you know, I was the same way. Nothing I'm going to teach about and train on the day I created. I, I, I learned and heard it on a conference call, on a training call, you know, had conversations with my mentor about how to use that tactic, double booking your prime time and things of that nature. Um, and, and then I started implementing and I'm like, well, this is, it works the best. You know, I, I've had a story. I had, I had to reschedule one, one guy twice. I had to, I had to reschedule him twice because every, both times that I rescheduled him, I was selling the one before him. He was an hour out and my next one was right across the street. I call him, of course, let him know I'm running behind and, and, and he was okay with rescheduling and then it happened again. But you know what that means? I'm loving the one I'm with. You don't know the next guy may not be there. He may not buy. He may not let you in the door. That's just reality of what we do. So you love the one you're with and, 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 and you gotta, you know, part of the, the um, four cornerstones is you gotta care enough to protect the families. That means you take care of the family you're with, okay? So you, the best thing I can say is the faster you, you get over the, the, the fear of, of missing out, and that's really what it is, fear of missing out on the next one, the better you're going to be when it comes to your posture. So um, I just kind of want to set the stage on that because what we're going to be doing is I'm going to do some uh, role play. And still, I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Do you mind role playing with me? Okay. You're, you're muted. You're muted. No, I'm, can you hear me? Now we can. Okay, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm always up for it. I don't care about making a fool of myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're just going to be the, you're just going to be my client. So here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to role play the phone script because that's where it all starts. We're not getting any, any, any in-home in training today. It's all about the phone because that's where it all starts okay i'm just kidding um and 
And what I want to do is make this interactive. So after we go through, and I'm going to probably stop and make some points about kind of what I'm doing and what I'm talking about, I, I hope that there's some of you guys out there that are willing to step up and ask some questions so we can keep this interactive. The whole point of this Zoom is so we can be together. Um, so please be willing to, to ask any questions. There's no... There's no dumb question. Don't feel like, you know, you're, you're being put on the spot. We're here to help. And that's the whole point of doing a training call like this. And Chris asked me to host and I was kind of going through um, what I wanted to do. And, and this is kind of what I've come up with because I get this. I'll post my numbers on Jacob's Pove's uh, crew. And I, every almost every time I get someone asking me, you know, how do you book up that many appointments in one day? I mean, what's your, you know, priority? Why, how do you do that or whatever? So that's kind of what we're going to, we're going to talk about today because I think it can help you. And I think it can help you immediately after we get off this call. Okay. Cause what I, what I believe and what I have found is one of the biggest things, whether it's on the phone or it's in the home, it's your confidence. You have to be confident in what you're doing and why you're doing it, all right? What we do is important. We've, we've said that and talked about it many times with death claims and things, but you have to be confident. People can, can sense, you know, lack of confidence in your voice, in your body language, you know, and, and you, so, so you have to be and confidence and posture. It's, it's just the same thing. You have to be confident on the phone and in your, your script. So, um, you know, I heard it say yesterday and I've heard it before by Miranda Martin. If I told you, you can make a hundred thousand dollars a year, just memorizing a phone script. How fast would you have that phone script memorized? Yeah, and those rebuttals. Exactly. If you don't have the first paragraph of that phone script script memorized, like literally close your eyes and you can re, re, recite it, you know, upside down, then that's the thing I'm going to challenge you. Now, does that mean you got to get your phone script memorized before you get on the phone? Because I know we've got a lot of new folks listening and may have not even been on the phone yet. Absolutely not. You should try, but don't think, well, I need to wait till I get the phone script memorized before I get on the phone. Because one of the best ways to memorize it is to do it, right? But get that sucker memorized so that, you know, it, 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 you don't, you're not thinking about what you're saying, and the best way to get better is to do more of it. You know, think of an actor. Do you ever see an actor come up on stage in a play and have a script in front of him? No, he's got it memorized, right? So get the dang phone script memorized. Um, rebuttals, yeah, you know, you're only going to hear, there's 12 rebuttals, and I, I, I hear most of them. Um, you know, and even that, guys, you know, especially working – you're going to get better at the rebuttals as you do it. Um, I'm always just realistic. Forgive me, Chris, if I step out of bounds. You're not going to overcome a whole lot of objections. You're not. You're not. But guess what? If you don't try, you ain't going to overcome any of them. It's numbers. We're not looking to get people interested. We're finding the interested people. We're not trying to turn rocks into gold. We're simply turning the rocks over to get the gold. That's it. But does that, am I saying don't, if they say I'm not interested, you say, okay, thank you, hang up. Absolutely not. Use your rebuttal because usually the first objection is not really an objection. It's just a gut instinct. If they probably hadn't even heard you, they don't even know why you're calling. They didn't hear you. And that's another topic for another conversation. You got three seconds to get their attention. But, um, and, and, and I heard, and again, so I thought I didn't get any nuggets. I got some nuggets yesterday, something that I've heard before. Um, if someone immediately tells you they're not interested and hang up, is that a, is that a yes or a no? 
No, it's not. They didn't hear you. You probably caught them at a bad time. They, they're used to getting, they're used to getting um, telemarketers constantly calling them. They thought you were a telemarketer. Again, that's, we got to work on that so you don't come across as a telemarketer. That's why we triple dial, first of all. Everybody, why we triple dial? One, because it works. And two, because we want to we want to identify, we want to let them know we're not a telemarketer. Telemarketers don't triple dial. They're trying to get $250 an hour. That's what most telemarketers goal is. Okay. One dial move. Um, so if you get a quick, not interested, don't put that thing in a, in a, in a pile, you door knock them or you call them back. Shoot. I've heard, I think Donna's face here a minute ago. I, there you go. She's, she's posted on there how many times, I think maybe Stella too, people's telling them not interested, call them back next week and get an appointment. You know, a lot of times it's just, it's just, you know, timing. That's a lot of reason why bonus leads are so profitable because the person before you took that not interested and hung up and moved on to the next one. <laughs> now you're getting it at a much discounted rate. So shame on them, right? Um, so, Hope I set the stage. Let me pull, I want to do, because I do want to have this pulled up just for, for folks. I'm a big proponent. Listen, the scripts, all, they're, 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 they're all the same. They're, they're, the only difference is just a few little tiny tweaks. But I'm a proponent of the call-in script because one, it, it's, it's already got a couple of the uh, objections built into it. Okay. I don't remember doing that. Still don't remember doing that. <laughs> Call me back. Um, when you get down to the setting the appointment, you know, it's got, it's got that. So I, I'm a big proponent on that. It's got key, key thoughts on booking posture. The person who is in control wins. Person who's asking the questions is control. Avoid weak language. Is that okay? Um, ask for who answers the phone. So I, I'm a big proponent. There's only the only difference is a one little line, and literally just about how they responded. Um, so I'm gonna have this up while we go through this. And and Stella, what I would like for you to do is we're gonna go through the first paragraph twice. The first one. You, you're 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 an A lead, okay? So yeah, you remember doing it. We're just we're just gonna keep on. Then we're gonna redo it, and you're not gonna remember doing it, okay? Because I know we get a lot of people that you you don't got. I'm the one. I'm the agent, okay? All you you're just a client, okay? okay. So, all right. Um. All right. Ring ring. Hello. Hey Stella. Hello. Hey Stella, my name is Jeremiah Nolan. I'm calling you back about your mortgage amount of a hundred thousand with Wells Fargo Bank. I'm actually getting back to you about those letters and postcards you got in the mail recently. You had actually called a number and answered some phone prompts and wanted us to get back to you about your mortgage protection options that would basically help pay your mortgage off if you had a death, disability, maybe even a heart attack. You remember that? I do. Great. Well, I was just the local case manager here just getting ready to put together some options for you and realized I needed about 30 seconds worth of questions so I could get those finalized for you. You indicated that your date of birth was 10, 5 of 68. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Stop. Did, did, did you notice that the one thing I want to point out, and, I, and hopefully you guys heard it, after she told me she remembered it, I told her I was the local. I always like to use that. That's not in the script, but I'm, I'm the local. I want them to know I'm local. I want them to immediately know I'm not some guy up in New York calling them. I'm the local field underwriter. I say case manager, you know, any, I, I would tell you, you can use anything you want other than agent, insurance agent. I, I just, I wouldn't go there simply because I don't like to bring up insurance on the phone. We're not selling insurance on the phone. You wear a bunch of hats. At the end of the day, you're just a $10 an hour worker that's designed to get these options they request out to them. Okay, so 
field underwriter, case manager, local, whatever. Okay. But when I told her, I'm just a local case manager designed to get, you know, you know, assigned to get these options out to her, realize I needed about 30 seconds worth of questions so I can get them finalized. I didn't stop and pause and wait for her approval. That's very important for you to understand. Okay. Now I didn't fly through it. So she couldn't understand me, but I wasn't asking for her approval. I was in control telling her what we're doing. Does that, does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So, and, and that's the immediate posture and control. It, 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 the script bleeds into each other. You have to initiate that posture and that control from the get go. So once you get to the appointment, you're the one in control. Don't, don't, I don't want to, to glaze over any of that. It may be very minute, but it is very important. Okay. I'm not going to go through the other stuff. Although one thing I will, will do, let's do that. Let's do that. So we, she said, okay. So, all right, Stella, you, you indicated your age was, was uh, 38. Is that correct? That's correct. Awesome. I'm showing here that your mortgage balance to be covered is about 112,000. Is that about right? Yep. Okay, great. And I've got your address is 123 Main Street. Yes. Awesome. Now, Stella, do you uh, use any form of tobacco, cigarettes, or anything like that? Oh, no, I've never smoked. <laughs> All right, Stella, you can promise me you're not going to start next week, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't plan on it. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Hey, how about any health issues, you know, like cancer, stroke, heart attack, diabetes, blood pressure, you know, COPD, anything like that? Um, I'm super healthy, but I was diagnosed with lymphoma about five years ago. Lymphoma. But other than that, I'm really super healthy. Okay, okay. Now, how long ago since your last treatment? You said you were diagnosed five years ago. When was your last treatment for lymphoma? Um, five years ago. Five years ago? Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, doctor got you taking any kind of medications, prescriptions for anything now, or maybe been on any major ones in the last couple of years? Um, no, I don't take anything. I, the only thing I take is Levi Thoxerin because um, okay. I don't, they took out my thyroid and that's it. Gotcha. That's it. I don't take anything else. Perfect, perfect. Well, good. Um, and Stella, what's, what do you do for work? What's your occupation? Um, I'm a property manager. Property manager. Okay, that's pretty cool. What's your typical work schedule? Is that like an eight to five job? Um, yeah, Monday through Friday, eight to five, but you know, I, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, good, good, good. And um, let's see here. I'm sorry, Stella, what is your approximate height and weight? Um, I am five, six, and I weigh about 140. Five, six, 140. Great. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now we said the mortgage was about 112,000. Did you put that on a 30 year term or was it something shorter? Um, it's a 30 year. 30. Okay. How much is that monthly payment? Is that around 600, 700? Um, it's actually 750. 750. Okay, good, good. And Stella, most importantly, when you, when you responded to this form here, you know, who were you looking to protect? Was this mostly coverage on you or maybe your spouse or both of you? Oh, you know, I just wanted to have the mortgage covered. Gotcha. Now, let me ask you, you know, God forbid something happens so you didn't make it home one day. Who is it you want to make sure the house was paid off for? Well, you know, I have two kids. And kids? so I want to make sure that, you know, if something happens to me that um, they're not going to have to worry about paying the mortgage. You know, okay. they have a roof over their head. I understand that for sure. I've got, I've got three kids myself. How old are your kids? Uh, 16 and 17. Awesome. Awesome. Good. I'm going to stop right there. Guys, did you see what I was doing? I was, especially on a call-in lead, you're only going to always just have one person's information. I was trying to confirm if she had a spouse or not, right? If she said, yeah, I want to take, I want to make sure, you know, paid off from, you know, my husband and kids. Okay. Well, 
let me ask you, do you want me to look at some options on your husband as well or just yourself? And if she says just herself, that's fine. What does your husband do for work? Um, he's a attorney. Okay, gotcha. So I'm right then I, I'm I'm finding out when he what his typical work schedule looks like, right? You know, and guys, sometimes you do this long enough, you you don't know some occupations are pretty typical. Like you know, you if it's a teacher, you know, pretty much when they're going to be out of school and things of that nature. You know, office manager. I mean, you know. So, but you got it's important to know so that when I get ready to set the appointment, I'm not asking what what's best for them. I'm telling them when I can see them based on when they should be home. Right. Um, so, well, great, Stella. Well, I appreciate that. Um, Stella, the, the main reason for my call today is they actually have me out in your area this coming Monday. I'm going to be swamped. I've got about eight to 10 homeowners that I have to meet with. It probably only give me about 15 minutes where I could swing by and show you guys what you would qualify for. I could probably squeeze you in around a 6.30 or a 7.45 on Monday. Which one of those would be best for you and your husband? We could do 7.45, be a better time. Let's get home late and yeah, gotcha. that'd okay, be better perfect. for us if that works Great. for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Stella, can you do me a favor? Can you grab something to write with? Okay. I'm going to hold that spot for you and your husband now. Or that is my last spot. Are you positive that time will work for both of you? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And so if, if you could write a couple things down for me, just help speed up everything when I get there. I would just need to see yours and your husband's driver's license just to make sure I'm talking to the right people, right? Okay. And um, if you could have out those medications or any other ones you've maybe been taking over the past couple of years on the kitchen table, if you don't mind. Okay. And uh, just your doctor's information as well, like name and phone number. Now that should be all I need. What time did we say again? I've got 745 down. 745. Yes, ma'am. I've got you on my calendar there. And Stella, if you can do me a favor, if you could put that on your refrigerator or in your phone counter, however you normally keep up with your appointments, because one of the worst things about my job was when people are not home when I show up, and unfortunately, they don't reimburse me for my gas, you know what I'm saying? And so I'd appreciate it if you could do that for me, because I won't forget about you guys. And I've got your address is 123 Main Street, is that correct? Uh, yes. Now, will my GPS get me right to you? Um, it should. You know, okay. we, our house is at the end of the cul-de-sac. The okay. only one with three-car garage. Three-car garage. All right. Is your number on the mailbox or on the on the house? or? Um, that's actually really hard to see. So when you okay. pull up, you're going to want to look for the number on the curb. It's on, the curb. on the curb. Okay. Yeah. Now, are you on a, are you on a, you, you said cul-de-sac, so you're in a subdivision? Yes, um, it's the um, only house with a palm tree outside. Okay, all right, perfect. And what's the main street, you know, that it's off of, so I'll, I'll kind of know I'm in the right place. Um, it's off 153rd and Weir. Gotcha, perfect. And, it, it, you know, 745, obviously it's going to be dark. If you can do me a favor and just leave the light on for me, kind of like the, uh, you know, the hotel there, I'd appreciate it. And um, listen, I'm going to be driving a dark colored pickup truck. If you'll give me some wiggle room, you know, 20 to 30 minutes on either side. As I mentioned, I've, I'm going to be running like crazy. I've got eight to 10 homeowners. Sometimes some run a little early and some run a little late. So if you can, you can do that for me. You, you guys will be, you pretty much be home once you get there. Is that right? Yeah, that'd be fine. Gotcha. Perfect. Well, that should be all I need. Um, you know, I hope you have a great weekend and I look forward to meeting you Monday night. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for your help. And your name is, uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yes, ma'am. Write that down. Right, copy paper. That down. Okay. Well, thank you, <laughs> sir. Right. Thank you. All right. So, um, a couple, a couple points there is guys, if you're not using this line here, that line right there is going to increase your show rate at least 25%.
Now, Stella, that is my last spot. Are you positive that time's going to work for you and your husband? Yes. You have to have that control. People are afraid to say something like that because they're afraid they're going to lose the appointment. Here's the thing. I'd much rather lose that appointment right now on the telephone than drive out to their house and they not be at home, right? You don't want to lose. Don't be afraid to lose something you don't have. If you haven't tied that appointment up, if you accept weak language like that should work, all right, great, I'll see you then. That's not an appointment. That means they're just trying to get you off the phone. That means if the dog gets sick, they're not going to show up. They're going to call you and cancel. What we do is important. You have to have the control. Now, did I sound like, did I sound like a jerk or some just big professional insurance agent? No, I don't think so. I hope not. No. I was just in control the whole time but but like i said before it starts up here it starts in the first paragraph and then i'm just building rapport i always love to to about the tobacco if they don't smoke i'm always i don't care how old they are i'm always going to laugh and say and you're not going to fire one up next week are you <laughs> you know my wife kids me about it because she's like she, she heard, hears me do it every, every single time because you want to get your clients laughing right then. You get them laughing. Matter of fact, if you can get them laughing two or three times throughout your, your, your phone script, the better you're, they're going to, they're going to, the show rate's going to be and even a higher percentage of you making that sale because you're already kind of building that rapport. Okay. Um, but, I it, it, I am busy. Repeat that to yourself. I am busy. The reason for my call is they they have me out in your area this coming Monday. Whoever they is, I don't know, but they have me out there. I'm super busy. I'm swamped. Whatever the language of where you're at that says busy, you don't matter what you say as long as you are expressing how busy you are. If you're not busy, fake it till you make it. Okay. Fake it. People want to do business with people that other people are doing business with. Don't be some long ranger out there. I don't care if you just have one appointment. Okay. Fake it till you make it. I am super busy. I am swamped. There's the Ben Miller and them, they, they had a, had a phone team and they, they had a challenge to see how many busy words people could come up with, you know, it, it, during that, during setting the appointment. Again, like, you know, I've heard it talk about before, say you're going down some big main street, you know, downtown area, got restaurants on both sides, one side of the road, you know, there's a line out the door, everybody's laughing, smiling, everybody inside, you know, having a good time. On the other side, there's a restaurant. Let's say they cook, they have the same as the steakhouse. There's nobody there. There's a couple people inside. They're they just, you know, eating, you know, whatever. Which one would you rather go to, right? I'd rather go to the one that's busy. Now, if I'm super, you know, starving to death or whatever, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. But the point is, you people, you you, you gravitate toward something that that other people are doing. You know, it's just it's just it's just human nature. Um, so I'm gonna. What I want to do before we open it up for questions, um, I want to go back through the first paragraph one more time, Stella. Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell me you don't remember doing that because I know a lot of you guys get that. Whether you're, whether it's calling leads or working, you know, fifty cent leads, bonus leads, or whatever. I know that you 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 get that a lot. Now there is some, you know. There is some thoughts out there from different folks of not even asking, do they remember it? Because you don't want to get a no. You know, you. And if you guys paid attention, I started out just verifying everything that was on that I had in front of me because I wanted to get them saying yes. Okay, 
I verified everything in, you know, so essentially what I was doing is I was jumping around, you know, asking these different items here. It don't matter what order you ask them in as long as you get the information. But I was getting him saying yes, 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 before I moved on to something that, you know, that was going to be not get a yes answer on potentially. But um, so there's some thoughts about, you know, do you ask, do you remember that or whatever? I have never had an issue with that, never had a problem with it. So I do it. Um, if you've been trained to not do it, then just disregard what I'm what I'm going to talk about next. However, I think it's important to to under to, to go back and show you um, how to keep on a script. The further you get away from your script, the further you are away from setting an appointment. Yeah. All right. The script is a straight line. If you start veering off. Sometimes the client will veer you off. Your 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 um, objective is to t hear what they say and essentially just let it bounce off of you and back to the script. Okay. So Stella, feel free to say you don't remember it. Feel free to give me any type of objection you want, um, and and let's do that. Okay. Cause I, I know everybody says, well, that's easy if they just say yes. Well, that's true. It does make it a little easier. That's why you need to work hard and, uh, you know, you'll get better at doing that. So, um, you ready? Mm -hmm. What time is it? All right. We're good. All right. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Stella. Yes. Stella, my name is Jeremiah Nolan. I'm calling you back about your mortgage. I'm out of 100,000 with Wells Fargo Bank. I'm actually getting back to you about those letters and postcards you got in the mail recently. You had filled it out and sent it back in to us and wanted us to get back to you about your mortgage protection options that would help pay your mortgage off if you had a death, disability, maybe even a heart attack. You remember doing that? I know. I, I didn't feel any, I didn't sign up for anything. Yeah, it, it's, you know, I, I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday. Uh, could have been your spouse. You guys indicated that your date of birth was 10, 12 of 68. Is that correct? Yes. I'm showing your mortgage balance is 100,000 out there on uh, 123 Main Street in, uh, in uh, Main Street, America, USA. Yeah, but be before I, I don't remember doing this. And before I, you know, give you my personal information um i i want to i i'm not comfortable giving my personal oh sure no no i definitely understand that all i'm doing stella is just verifying the information that you guys put down on this form in your handwriting and so i've got your birthday is 10 12 68 you said that was right your husband's listed down here as 5 2 of 55 and again this was about the mortgage protection benefits that would help uh, pay the mortgage off. If either of you had an unexpected death, disability, maybe even a heart attack. I was just a local case manager. I was getting ready to put together some options for you and realized I needed about 30 seconds worth of questions so I could do that. Um, so I verified your birthday. You, you've got your mortgage balance up there on Main Street. Now, do you guys use any form of tobacco products like cigarettes or chewing tobacco or anything like that? Well, you know, the, the only thing is, I, I don't think, I don't know that we're still interested in doing this. I mean, we kind of, we got that in the mail and filled it out. So. Um. I got you. Well, let me ask you, is it because you guys have already um, seen some options? Was it because the price or did you already sell the house or what was the reason you say you wouldn't be interested anymore? Jeremiah, can you hear me? There we go. Yeah. Sorry, my it said my internet um, was unstable. Sorry. That's okay. So, um, yeah, I don't. You know, I I don't really remember filling it out, and I'm I'm not sure that we're still interested in that. You know, we got I think we got you know coverage. Is isn't this that an insurance thing or something? Yeah, sure. Most clients have 
you know, life insurance, what I find is they typically want that to go to their family and not have to go to the bank. And that's where mortgage protection comes into play. But make no mistake, all I'm doing is just needing to, to, to get some options out to you just so you'll know exactly what you've requested. And then uh, we'll take that finalized for you, okay? Um, so again, you, you verify the information. Have you guys had any health problems I need to know about? Um, no, we're both really healthy. Okay, good, good. And you said you said that neither of you use tobacco products at all, right? No, we've never smoked. Okay, good. You're not going to start next week, are you? <laughs> uh, don't plan on it. Okay, good, good. Um, so you guys, you said the mortgage amount is about 100000 Did you guys put that on a 30-year term or was it sh something shorter? 30-year. Um, okay, perfect. I'm going to stop there. So, well, you made it tough on me there, Stella. The well, you know what, Jeremiah, can I tell you something? Because you probably heard this the other day. I think it was... It was on um, that Pope call, and he was. This is the one where um, he he mm, they came back from Cabo, and he said he heard some guy overcome a rebuttal like that. And the guy said, um, when someone says, "Oh yeah, you know, well we're we're covered, you know, we we got insurance," he goes, "Oh okay, well you know that must be why your file came across my desk, you know, because there's these." Um, a lot of new plans out there now that you know save a lot of families about three to four hundred dollars and um they now come with living benefits so that that's probably why your file came across my desk um because you looks like you signed up a long time ago and then it generates that interest um i haven't mm -hmm. used it yet because i haven't had that objection yet since i heard it two days ago but i wrote it down and yeah. it's there's several ways to rebut the not interested. You know, I, I, I typically stick to the, the standard. You know, you can even say, okay, was that the new kind or the old kind? I don't know. What's the difference? Well, the new kind is, is where you have the ability to get your money back. The old kind is where you're not. Is that, you know, which one you got? Okay. Or say, hey, we work with about three dozen top rated insurance companies. We can typically save your clients about 20%, you know, on their, on their premium. Would that be something you're interested in? So there's several ways using the debt free life. If you're certified, Oh, okay, well, good. Let me ask you, you know, if we could show you guys how you could actually get your mortgage paid off in less than nine years without saving any, without spending any additional money, would that be something you'd be interested in learning more about? Um, okay. Yeah. So there's all kind of ways to do that. What I'll tell you is when it comes to rebuttals, right? You, you don't even have to be the right one. But again, you're not going to overcome a lot. As long as you're on track with the numbers, most of them I can't overcome anyway. I, you know, if I'm working five A's, I'm going to get about one out of five, maybe two out of five. I might, you know, because I'm, I've done it a lot longer, right? More experience. Just make sure you're tracking your numbers and your own pace. Um, and, and just keep the, turning over rocks. You know, again, we're not, but you want to hear yourself rebuttal twice, third time, let them go. We're not beggars. Okay. Um, and I, I think you heard, heard that. The thing I wanted you to hear, most importantly, she didn't, she, she, she said she didn't remember doing it. I remind her once again, what it was, the benefits. Then I just keep on with my script. I don't wait to see, oh, okay, are now, now are you interested? No, I reminded her again, or she says she don't remember doing it. I remind her again what it is, and I keep on with my script. We don't pause and wait because all we're doing is waiting for another objection. You, 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 if she say, they don't say they don't remember it, tell them again what it was about and continue on with your script. I'm just a case manager trying to get some options out to you, get ready. To, and most of the time, not all the time, a lot of times, they're just going to go along with you, right? So um, we did. It's it, we're, we're hitting up on the hour. I did want to open up the lines for a few um, folks that may have some questions. If if you can, just unmute yourself. If you can't, raise your hand. Hit the chat button so I can unmute you. Um, has anybody got any any questions that come up? Any any uh, anything that you you heard today that that, that 
hopefully it's helped you. Um, feel free to please unmute yourself and ask away. Thank you so much, Stella, for your assistance there, ma'am. Oh, you bet. If um, anybody doesn't have any questions, I heard this really awesome uh, piece of advice through, you know, I, if anybody knows me, I listen to a ton of audios on, you know, self-development and, and how to do things better. And one of the things that he said, you know, it talks along what you said, Jeremiah, about, you know, confidence is the number one key that, you know, people are going to Those people who got this fear, you know, because they get rejected over time and they got fearful. And so they told them to at least make 100 calls and act like you don't care. You know, you're not in terms of you're not worried about the rejection. You just need to make the calls. And, and then that activity generated the confidence because, you know, eventually you're going to get the yeses. But people get in this mental fear of like, well, you know, all of a sudden it creeps in. It's like what you always say, Jeremiah, you know, your brain believes what you tell it. So if you hear one objection and all of a sudden you're like, oh, must not be a good time to call. Oh, you know, everybody I'm calling is, you know, not interested. Oh, this or that. And you have to nip that in the bud quick and, you know, just have fun with your calls and just know that you're gonna get those rejections and just keep on moving on until you get your yeses. And then that's how I found to make it fun. But that's that is such a great point that you bring up is just relax, get out of your own head. <laughs> Guys, half the time when I'm dialing, you know, I use the power dialer, so I got my headset on. My, I'm in my master bedroom, as you probably can tell. I've got my TV right here. I put it on Netflix or some sports channel or something on mute. And I'm literally just sitting here and just waiting on somebody to pick up. And I go through my script. Just, I'm not tense. I'm not, you know, hung over like this. And, and, and you just have to rely. And, and listen, if you're prepared, You've got your script memorized. You've done it long enough. You understand again the numbers. You know you can work all you want and try all you want to try to beat the numbers. I promise you, it's not going to work out. So just know your numbers, know the metrics, and just keep turning over those rocks. That's that's it's it's it. But you've got to have that confidence and the posture. You know, and again, it starts it starts you know, up front, but the most important, so I, I failed to, and I want to wrap it up here. We talked about booking yourself solid. Okay. So I didn't ask them when is, when and it's good for them, when it is, I told them how busy I was. They had me in their area on Monday. I'm only going to have about 15 minutes. Okay. And I give them two options. If for some reason those two options don't work, then I'm first going to give them two more options for the same day, even 930 at night if needed. Okay. If those don't work, I'm going to give them two more options and then I'm cutting them loose. They're not that interested. We don't got time to be dealing with not interested people, but you've got to have that confidence. So how do we get eight to 10 appointments in a day? Stella, you've brought this up, okay? Double book your prime time or stagger book it. Prime time is four to 8 p.m. You can literally get eight appointments in those in four hours, okay? Well, what I, I can't get to eight people in four hours. I know you're not gonna have to because you're gonna have some cancellations and some reschedules. Therefore, you have at least four people to see, okay? Um, I don't worry about that. What I worry about is not booking myself solid and not having enough people to talk to so that I can't provide for my family. That's what I worry about. 
If I have to reschedule because I can't get to them all, that is a good thing. Have you an overflow day on Wednesday or whatever? Or me, I'm typically, my schedule is set unless I just don't make my numbers and, you know, I'm, I'll see you next week. I'm, I cover multiple counties. I won't be back until next week. You know, either go ahead and reschedule it or just tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll call you back this weekend so we can confirm when I see, get my schedule. I'm busy. I'm, you know, again, it's all about that confidence and that posture. People, people want to do business. So you gotta, you gotta have that confidence and don't have that fear that you're, you're going to, you're going to screw one up because you can't get there. It, the, the reality is it, it should be a positive because you have your, if you're, if you're running behind, it's because hopefully it's because you're making sales. What? How long is it? I've been in the house an hour and not made a sale. Well, we got to work on your presentation then because you're taking too damn long to, to get to the business. Um, you know, so um, just, just control your schedule, double book, stagger book. What's stagger booking? Okay, that's booking every 30 minutes from four to, you know, Hey, you're going to get some people. It's going to cancel a no show. It's going to happen. You just don't know which ones it is. And the more you do it, a lot of times you will know which ones it's going to be. You know, um, you'll have an you'll have an idea, but just show up, get there, be there. You know, um, and and you'll have success. Just don't worry about not being able to get to the appointments. Worry about not having enough to get to. Um, that is all I have. If does it, nobody have any questions, I was hoping somebody would talk up, and hear from somebody, but that's all right too. Chris, you got anything to add before we wrap up? All right. Look, guys, hold on. Y'all hang on. Listen, I booked 14 appointments last Friday, and I was done by six o'clock. You know how I did that? Because I got started early. You ain't got to wait till four o'clock. Um, just get out there and make it, make it happen. <laughs>